In the heart of the Brazilian Amazon, a truck makes a solemn path towards the local police station. It carries a macabre load, the corpse of a man. But the circumstances of his death were bizarre in the extreme. Fearing accusations of murder, the fishermen have taken the corpse to the police station in the exact state in which they found it. Just a pair of legs protruding from the mouth of a vast catfish. Could this wild tale emerging from the Amazon really be true? Or is this just a made-up fisherman's tale, and no more real than this photo recreation of what it might have looked like? I've faced many of the largest and most feared creatures in the waterways of this world, and I've discovered that you don't need to swim in the sea to encounter a man-eater. Rivers harbor just as many monsters. Ask people what is the most feared fish in the Amazon, and they'll undoubtedly say piranha electric eel, or even stingray. But I've come to Brazil to find out if catfish are actually the worst of the lot, a true mafia-style family of killers at large. And I've tracked down Sr. Valmir, one of the witnesses to this bizarre murder, to hear his story. Basically, there's a bit of a, a frenzy of, of fishing activity going on. One of the nets got stuck on a rock. And in that situation, you know, the only thing you can do if you're not going to rip the net, you know, you've got to go down and get it off. So this one fisherman dived in to free the net. However, what happened was that, you know, he didn't come up. Uma média de quatro horas. De quatro horas? Quatro horas pela, pela boia. The net came up, no fish in it, no fisherman. Nothing more was seen until about four hours later when suddenly this huge fish appeared on the surface and it was thrashing around because the fish was actually itself in, in trouble, actually choking. The fisherman was actually half inside the mouth of the fish, just the legs of the fisherman sticking out. And what happened then was that the fishermen all went to try and get the fish to net it and he said, you know, because it was obviously quite tired, it was quite easy, just one net, they got it in and clubbed it to death. They left his body inside the fish and then went to Manaus as fast as possible. Obviously, you know, get it to the police station to make sure that there's no suspicion that it was a case of, of murder or anything like that. The murderer was identified as a piraiba, the largest species of catfish found here in the Amazon. So that fish could have been about 500 pounds. I mean, we are talking some seriously, seriously big fish here. É um peixe desse, desse tamanho, ele tem um bulk mais ou menos... Uh... 40 centímetros. É, 40 centímetros. The mouth, about 40 centimetres across, so that's a couple of foot across, but he says it, you know, it opens up more, so sort of maybe two and a half foot. This was a, a pretty monstrous fish and a pretty horrific end for that particular fisherman. He says there are people disappearing all the time and you never find a trace of them, you know, you don't find the body, you don't find bones, you don't find anything. Even having heard this horrific story from an eyewitness, someone who was actually there, you know, seeing this monstrous fish with the fisherman's feet just poking out of the mouth, I still find it really hard to believe that there are fish here capable of doing that. And what I want to do is actually see with my own eyes how big the fish are in these Amazon rivers. I think the first thing I've got to do is go back to where this story all started and actually go myself to the scene of the crime.